Hey guys, today's video is gonna be, um, I don't know, we're just gonna chat. Hold on, I need to get comfortable. <sighs> so, having back issues at the moment, which is fucking wonderful. Um, if you wanna know the deets on what happened, check my vlog channel. Um, but basically, my chiropractor fucked up my back and uh, might be pursuing legal action. Honestly, so yeah, if you want to know the details, check out my vlog channel. Um, but today's video, um, I do have a couple of questions, Poshmark Q&A, and also I just wanted to chat with you guys um, about Poshmark. First question, uh, what up MVP? <laughs> I love this girl. Um, she says, I have a question regarding shipping times. Do you know how they are calculated? I get my shipments out ASAP, but I notice hundreds of times that the shipping notification will come in hours, and I mean hours later. But when you click on the notification, it says the exact time it was in UP USPS possession. Is your shipping time calculated when the notification comes in or when it's actually accepted by USPS? It's becoming annoying already. So yes, um, you will get a notification that your item has shipped um, like hours after it's already been shipped. So typically when I ship something, um, I mean I ship things every day, I ship same day. So my mail lady picks up my mail at around, well between like 11 and 12, and I sometimes won't get a notification that it has shipped until like uh, one o'clock in the morning or like two o'clock in the morning the next day. You're right, it is hours later. It's calculated from when they actually scan it, not when you get that notification. Poshmark is just delayed in receiving their notification. So if you're concerned about like when an item is shipped, you can go to your shipping label from your email or from your app and get the tracking number and go onto the USPS website and it'll show you the exact time that it was scanned into their system. So yeah, it is annoying to get notifications hours later. Like today, I mailed out uh, almost 30 packages. It's 321 right now. Our mail lady came at 1130 this morning. I won't get notifications until Later tonight at the earliest, but it's usually like Midnight one two o'clock in the morning. It's it's weird And that's just the delay in Poshmark receiving the notification it has nothing to do with like the post office being delayed So I hope that answers your question. Somebody said just found your channel and I love it. Oh, thank you, Brianna. Random question, what do you use for lighting when you are filming? So I actually use a ring light, it's from Newer. It's in my Amazon shop, I will have it linked down below. Um, this is actually the second ring light that I have had from Newer. I had one for mm, a couple years and then they reached out to me did I get the first one from them for free? No, I purchased the first one myself because I saw another YouTuber talk about it and they were like, oh my gosh, this ring light's amazing, it's only 50 bucks. And I purchased it and I loved it. I had it for like two years, maybe three years, maybe longer. And then Newer reached out to me and they're like, hey, we wanna send you a ring light. And I'm like, okay. So the ring light that I got is uh, bigger than my other one and it's a little bit more expensive. I think this one is like 89 bucks but it's amazing. I use it for Poshmark, I use it to photograph everything. It's it's amazing. I've been on YouTube a while and I've used many lights. I have used like umbrella lights and those are just a pain in the ass. I felt like I could never get the lighting just right. Like it was just, it was ugh. So if you're interested in um, an amazing quality ring light, I'll have it linked down below. Okay, next question. What do you mean that bundle conversations are not private? As in Posh can see them or is there a way other users can see them? I'm shook if it's the second one, lol. Unfortunately, bundle conversations are not private. Um, Poshmark can definitely see them, but anyone can actually see your bundle conversations. So, if you're interested, if you wanna be nosy, if you wanna read other people's bundle conversations, uh, I'll tell you how to do it. So you go to the person's um, closet. We're gonna go to Empty Hanger. Jenna, I always use her as an example because she's like, she's Poshmark goals, she really is. Then you're gonna tap on the three dots in the upper right hand corner and then you're gonna go to bundles from the person's name. So bundles from empty hanger. And then you can see all of her active bundles that either she has made for people or they've made the bundles themselves. And you can actually go, <sighs> sorry my kids are being so loud today. It's like a gross cold day out so we're not going outside and we're just like kind of stuck inside so they're just kind of like eh. anyway you can go to view bundle and if there was a conversation between the two people you could see it 
So yeah, if you want to be nosy, you can go read people's <laughs> bundle conversations. Um, I don't know why Poshmark does that. I don't know why they don't have a private messaging system. Every, uh, I'm trying to think, eBay definitely does, Macari does. I know they both have private messaging systems, so I don't know why Poshmark does not have that. You would think, you would think, like, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. And it doesn't seem, I mean, in my mind, it doesn't seem like it would be a hard thing for them to implement. Maybe it is. I don't know. But yeah, be careful what you say in bundle conversations. Don't give out like private information or anything like that. Uh, certainly don't be an asshole <laughs> because um, other people can see it. And I wanted to clear something up. So in my um, one of my previous videos, I talked about cross-listing and um, somebody got confused. So I'm assuming if one person did, multiple people might have gotten confused too. Um, you can you can cross list on other platforms. You can use multiple platforms. Um, you're certainly free to use Poshmark, eBay, Macari, all of them at the same time. Um, what Poshmark doesn't like is if you talk about other platforms on Poshmark, which rightfully so, they want you to stay on their platform. They don't want you heading over to eBay or Macari, you know? Um, so that's the point that I was kind of getting at in that video. You can 100% cross list, feel free to do it. Um, just don't mention it on Poshmark. I see people do this all the time and I'm like, eh, if Poshmark catches you, they're gonna slap you on the wrist. Um, you know, just don't say in your listing like, uh, it's cheaper on Macari or something. Some people do that because Macari fees are less than Poshmark so something will be cheaper on Macari because they can afford to do that because of the lesser fee. Um, so yeah, so just don't advertise other platforms on Poshmark, but you can absolutely cross list to other platforms. Um, there's, there's no issue with that. Oh, another thing I wanted to briefly talk about is, um, keeping up listings. Like say if you're cross listing on other platforms, if you have something listed on Poshmark and Macari and you sell it on Macari, um, somebody asked, you know, should you keep your listing on Poshmark and just say not for sale? I said no just because like it just doesn't make any sense to me like uh, you'll get questions about that you'll be like well, why is it not for sale and then you gotta you know take time out and say well I sold it on Mercari and then you gotta be careful not to say that you sold it on Mercari on Poshmark because Poshmark could find out and get mad you know like uh, this person said um, I think the reason that person asked about you deleting items like deleting listing is because I've heard from other resellers that you shouldn't I believe one said they told them in a session at Poshfest. I guess Poshmark algorithm doesn't like it. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. Comment down below and let me know if you've heard that too. Um, and I, I'm curious as to who, like, who the other Poshmark people are that said that. I'm curious. Um, okay, so that's all the questions for today. I just wanted to talk about, um, last month. I want to talk about May. Between both my closets, I was only $187 away from having Poshmark or having May be my best month on Poshmark. And I, I could have pushed, I could have done it. I know I could have done it, but yesterday was just, oh my gosh, yesterday was a crazy day. Um, I did sell, I think it was 21 things yesterday. And like I said, I could have pushed and I, I could have done it, but I was just so exhausted and with my back issues going on, I, I fell asleep at like 8.30 last night. So super early, I was just exhausted and just in so much pain. Again, if you want more deets, check out my vlog channel. I'm trying to think, like, what did I do different? I certainly sent out a lot of offers to likers. I typically do that, I would say, like, twice a month. But in May, I did it... I know I did it every week. Um, and I did it on Thursday night. I want to say there was one week or maybe two weeks where I did it twice. I want to say I did it at least five times in um may so that was that was a new thing may was the first month where i didn't share other people's listings like i didn't focus on that before like in previous months that was like one of my daily things that i would do i would like i had a, I had a listing in my closet that said if you share 10 of my listings i'll share 10 of yours so that was something i did daily but may was really the first month where i didn't even focus on that at all um i did share some things you know some of my PFFs, my posh friends forever. I did share some of their closet. I focused on sharing my own closet. Those are really the two main things that I did um, different this month and I really truly think they contributed to my success this month. Comment down below and let me know how May was for you guys. 
I feel like I've seen a lot of people on Instagram say that May was a really good month for them. Yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below, send me a DM on Instagram. If you're new to Poshmark and you want to sign up, you can use my code. It is keeping it rad. You get a $10 credit and I also get a $10 credit. So thank you. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.